deer comes crashing through the windshield of a school bus that was on its way to school. The deer actually went through the glass and landed on top of that driver. Now, he was injured, but he just told WBZ's Bill Shields his top priority was getting everyone else off the bus safely. The deer came crashing through the windshield of the bus, a bus full of kids. My bus driver, Mark, he stood up and his hand was all bloody. He had blood on his face. He had blood on his leg. And he just told everyone to get off the bus. Um, then he did a head count. They were on their way to school in Dartmouth this morning when the buck ended up right on the lap of driver Mark Jardin. Zoe Ryreeks was sitting in the row behind Mark. So I was just doing that, and my friend grabbed me and like ducked me under her while the deer came flying at us. Because where I was sitting, the deer's head was right there. So I probably would have got hit or something by the deer, so she grabbed me and like, threw me under her arm. But the driver brought the bus safely to a stop. When you look at the, the images of the crash, uh, it, it's incredible, number one, how it occurred, and number two, that he was able not only to, uh, you know, survive that impact, but also, you know, walk away, walk away from it relatively unscathed after safely pulling that bus over. Mark Jardin suffered a severely broken hand, but still got the kids out of the bus and over to a nearby yard. I was fortunate enough that where it happened, there was a driveway that was a enough room for the kids to all get there and all be together and all be accounted for and I was bleeding and the kids were more concerned because I didn't even realize it his priority was those kids yep. and he got them to safety and then the ambulance said you need to get in the ambulance mark will likely be out of work not able to drive for about eight weeks there is a GoFundMe page though set up to help out his family after he helped out so many kids in New Bedford, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.